Hello, Fort Washington, class of 2020. I want you all to know how proud I am of the way you all handle yourselves the past three months. You showed all of us how mature you all are and that you are the true leaders of this building. Although you were not in the building for three months, you were still able to get all your work done and to connect with each other and your teachers. Your teachers have repeatedly told me how amazing you all were over this time. It was so nice to get to know all of you so well over the past six years. I remember last year at the fourth and fifth grade dance, the fourth graders, which were you, dominated the fifth graders in multiple dance-offs and the energy level that you all had was so amazing. Your class as a whole had such a positive energy level and it was contagious and your teachers loved you. You will have so many great memories here at Fort Washington and you will be the first and last car parade promotion which will be special to all of you. Please relax and enjoy your summer. You all deserve it. Know that Fort Washington will always be your home and please come back and visit often. Before you know it, you'll be seniors at Upper Dublin High School and you'll be coming back here for Walk the Halls. You will be deeply missed and we look forward to seeing all that you do in life. We are so proud of you. Good luck, fifth graders. Congratulations, fifth graders, on your promotion to Sandy Run. You are going to do such wonderful things at Sandy Run, at the high school, and beyond. Please make sure you come back to visit us at Fort and tell us about all the exciting things that are going on in your life. You are going to be greatly missed at Fort Washington. Have a wonderful summer and have fun at Sandy Run. Hi, Fort Washington fifth graders, or should I say sixth graders? Wow, where is the time gone? I've known most of you since you were kindergartners, and it has been so wonderful to watch you grow at Fort Washington through all the years. I am excited to continue to see you growing by seeing you around in the neighborhood. Um, I know you will do amazing things at Sandy Run. You will be missed. Anyway, just some little tips. I hope you remember a lot of the things you learned at Fort Washington but especially something that you've learned about in fifth grade, and that is how to be a hero. If you're a hero, you will be very successful at Sandy Run. And you know, by hero, we mean being honest, safe, respectful, and responsible. If you are those four things, you will truly feel so proud of yourself. Your family will be proud of you and Fort Washington will be proud of you. Your teachers will be thrilled with your character and I wish you all the luck trying to achieve those goals as you move on to Sandy Run and some other sixth grade settings. So I wish all of you the best. I hope you have a great summer, a lot of fun before you get back to school to work hard and do your Fort Washington best. Please remember to always come back and visit, and I look forward to seeing a lot of you in the neighborhood. All the best to a wonderful group of fifth graders as they move on. Take care and congrats, Fort Washington fifth graders. All the best, see you. Congratulations, fifth grade. Best wishes as you head off to Sandy Run Middle School. I hope you take with you lots of happy memories from Fort Washington. We'll miss you. Have a great summer and keep on reading. Well, 5A, it has been quite a year. From an evacuation to the high school to ending our traditional way of learning in mid-March. But here we are. You, your parents, and your former teachers to celebrate your promotion from elementary school to middle school. While the end of your time at Fort may not have been how you or I imagined it, it is still your accomplishment to celebrate. This was the year that you have learned what it means to quickly adjust to a new situation, to tackle a challenge head on, and to embrace difficulty and uncertainty. You have shown your parents, teachers, and each other that you are resilient. When you are thrust into a new situation, you come out stronger. At Fort Washington Elementary School, you formed friendships and memories that will follow you for the rest of your life. And you amazed me 
with your determination and collaboration to achieve goals throughout the school year. My hope for you is that your determination continues to not only inspire you to learn, but to become the best person that you can be. Elementary school has equipped you with the tools to do so. You've learned to work hard, be humble, and get involved. Achievements will not always and should not always come easy to you. If you persevere, what you achieve will be worth more than the hard work you put into it. You are all talented and creative, but so are many others. Remember to always compliment others on their gifts and accomplishments, and you will be remembered for your kindness. Last, find what motivates you whether it be academics, sports, or the arts. And join an activity that allows you to pursue that. And don't worry if you are the only one of your friends doing that activity. It is okay to do what inspires you. 5A, congratulations to you and your families. You should be proud of all that you've learned and achieved at Fort Washington. I know that you all have amazing futures ahead. As I stand here today in front of all my friends and family, I think to myself, why am I excited to leave West? Excited to leave all the memories, adventures, love, and support. But then I think, because with every friend, memory, or adventure we've been through, comes new friends, new memories, and new adventures that we will carry with us um, every day for the rest of our lives. From the kindergarten field trip to the apple orchard, to the fifth grade field trips to Google Meet, on Google Meets, each memory brings more assurance to us that no matter where we are or what we do, there will always be people who care for us and love us. Over the years, I've learned to love, to listen, and to cherish my friends and the people who care about me. So as I stand here today, I'm telling you, all of you, to cherish and to hold all the memories you have made and all the memories that are yet to come. So I'll leave you with this last thank you. Thank you to all the teachers, staff, and even the students for helping us get through these six years. And no matter what the future brings, we will, we will always be there for each other through times of hurt and in times of need. So goodbye, Fwes. Hope to see you soon. Congratulations, fifth graders. Mrs. Nitschke here wanting to tell you how proud I am of you for all of your accomplishments during elementary school. Having you as a part of Fort has been just a joy for all of us. You have to promise to come back and visit us very often because I promise you, no matter how old you get, you will always be one of our Fort kids and we will always want to hear what you have been up to. Good luck at Sandy Run. Bye-bye, happy graduation. Hi fifth graders, I hope you have a fabulous summer. I am so proud of each and every one of you. You did such an amazing job at Fort Washington and we are all so proud of you. Please come back and visit, especially in all those early dismissal days while we're still in school, come and see us. We will welcome you um, in our classrooms and we'll be so happy to see you guys. I hope you have a great summer. Best wishes for the middle school. You'll all sort of success in sixth grade. Bye. Hey, Fort Washington fifth graders, 
congratulations, you made it through a great year. Special shout out to those of you that were in band the last two years. You've done great and you'll go far. For those of you that weren't in band, I still know you'll do great in the middle school and in the high school because you've worked hard at Fort Washington. We've taught you the academics, but we've also taught you how to be kind to each other, how to take care of each other, and how to work together. Bring those skills with you to the middle school and the high school and you will succeed. Goodbye. Hey fifth graders, I wanted to wish you the best of luck on your journey to Sandy Run Middle School and congratulate you on your promotion from Fort Washington Elementary School. To the fifth graders that I had the chance to work with, I had so much fun with you during our sessions. You worked so hard and I'm so proud of you and I'm really, really going to miss you. And I just wish everyone the best of luck. Enjoy your summers, you deserve it. And your futures are so bright. Take care, bye-bye. Congratulations, 5B. This is not the way that I would have imagined our fifth grade year together would end, and definitely not the way that I would have liked to send you off to middle school. However, this will be a time that neither of us will forget. And in times like these, it is most important to remain positive. I hope you cherish all of the special memories that you made this year and throughout your years at FWES. I hope you reflect on all of the adventures you had and the lessons that you learned throughout your elementary school years. 5B had a wonderful group of students this year and I'm so thankful that I had each and every one of you in our class. You are all great kids and I enjoyed getting to know each of you and learning all about your personalities and your interests. You could always make me smile and laugh and you still do, even if it is virtually. I want each of you to know how proud I am of you. I'm proud of the caring classroom community that we made together. I'm proud of your kindness and the way that you treat others. I'm proud of all of your hard work and many accomplishments this year. I am proud of your growth and your progress from the beginning of the year until now. But most of all, I am proud of you for trying to make the most of this challenging time and your willingness to try new things as we began learning from home. And I am certainly proud of your resilience and your perseverance when things got tough. As you head off to Sandy Run next year, always remember how a little kindness can go a long way. You are all capable of great things. So congratulations, 5B. Good morning, Fort Washington. It's time like in every other chapter to end and begin a new one. For some, it might just be a new teacher and new memories that you'll cherish forever. For, for others, it's a new school, new hallways, and completely new teachers. But it's just another chapter. Imagine waiting to be hiked. A winning basket just waiting to be made. All of those experiences make lifelong memories, just like school does. One of my favorite kindergarten experiences was morning meeting where we got to share what made us happy that week, where we also attempted to count by fives and tens to a hundred. In third grade, we got chicks. They were so tiny and cute. It was so fun raising them, watching them huddle together to stay warm. Every single year, we would come back wiser, and every single grade, we would sprout new friendships and strengthen new ones. For me, fifth grade year was cut away way too short. We lost out on many memories and experiences, but I will never forget the ones that I did make throughout the years. If there's one thing quarantine has taught me, it's that I, I, will, I will always have the memories of Fles and the friendships I've made due to Fort Washington.
High Fort Washington Elementary School fifth graders class of 2020. It's Mrs. Einhorn with a few words of wisdom today. When you dream about the future, what do you dream? How do you see yourself? Do you dream about going to college, about being a firefighter or flying an airplane? Do you dream about a world where people get along together, a world without violence? How and what we dream is very important. Listen to these words. It is in dreaming the greatest dreams, seeking the highest goals, that we build the greatest tomorrows. Why do you suppose that is? Well, think about it. It's difficult to become what we can't even imagine. So dream great things for yourselves and move toward those dreams by doing your very best. And for the last time as an elementary school student, make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Congratulations, and I'll miss all of you. Way to go, Fwest graduates. Even though your graduation looked a little different this year, and honestly, I had a blast at your car parade, your achievement is still the same. You put in the same amount of hard work. You've learned so much, you've grown so much, and we couldn't be prouder of you. Congratulations. We will miss you. Uh, big shout out to my Team 3C slash 4A uh, class. I will never forget you. It was a fun two years with you uh, and to the whole fifth grade class. Good luck next year at Sandy Run, and I'm sure I'll see you around town. Hi, new sixth graders. Bumper and I say goodbye. Please come back and visit us at the library. And please remember, keep reading. Hi, it's Mrs. Ritchie. I'm Ms. Goldfinger. Congratulations to the Fort Washington Elementary School fifth grade class of 2020. A special shout out to our 1B students. Do great things in Sandy Run. We're very proud of you. We'll miss you and come visit us. Bye. Bye. Good morning. Our fifth graders have completed their final year as Fort Washington Elementary Patriots. Although the last three months didn't go as planned, our graduates will always remember their finishing run as one of a kind. 5C, of course you were disappointed to miss out on all the fun events we talked about this year. But as we chatted in Google Meets, we highlighted positivity and learned to make the best of every situation. Many of you found friends in your siblings, baked or cooked with your parents, and discovered fun in being home with your family. Through this experience, you learn to be more understanding, patient, and kind. You learn how to email and you gain confidence by reaching out and asking for help in times of need. I am proud of your perseverance and effort and you should be proud of yourselves. As your journey continues at Sandy Run Middle School, I encourage each of you to stay positive, believe in yourself, and to acknowledge your efforts as successes. You need to have a desire and determination to accomplish your goals, and you can do that with a plan. You need to think things through, take your time, be patient with yourselves, and strive to be the best you can be. I know you can, I believe in each of you. I want you to always be respectful and responsible make safe choices, and always be honest. Be a leader, not a follower. Be proud of yourself and make your family proud. They love and care about you and want nothing but happiness for you. Thank you for all the warm morning greetings, all your smiles throughout the day, and your goodbye hugs. You made me laugh out loud, and I really enjoyed your energy and enthusiasm. I want you to remember the good times. Saving Fred, the Halloween parade, dissecting owl pellets, the turkey trot, volunteering at Cradles to Crowns, our classroom talent show, kindergarten buddies, ice cream sundaes, our holiday gift exchange, Robins Park, the Veterans Day assembly, winning the first in math pizza party, celebrating mistakes, virtual learning with your pet by your side, and most recently, your fifth grade promotion parade. 
That was definitely memorable, and it was so great to see all your faces. Boys and girls, I wish you all the best at Sandy Run. I know you will do well as you reflect, think, and accomplish your goals. Continue to make memories as you journey through Upper Dublin, and each of you will always be a Fort Washington hero. Congratulations, class of 2020. I started out as a, as a five-year-old in kindergarten that was terrible at math. Now I'm 11 year old going to middle school being great at it. Over the years, I've gone on field trips and played tag at recess. I have learned about science and social studies. I've learned how to make friends and have made more and more every day for Washington. I enjoy learning, going to school, and hanging out with my friends. We all have memories here, whether it is a field trip or laughing at the chicks running around on each other. We like looking at the cool sets on the fourth grade Philadelphia trip and enjoyed all the animals at the aquarium. Seeing the bones and birds at Robins Park was cool. We all remember doing the Wax Museum in third grade and having to memorize the speeches and repeating them over and over again. We'll never forget all the holiday parties, eating so much food, or making Halloween trick-or-treat bags. Field day was so much fun playing all those games and celebrating winning or people who won. A really fun memory is getting so many tickets that we won a dance party, read as an ice cream truck that came to school for us. As I think about all the fun together, I, we had together, I think, why am I so excited to leave? Why am I excited to start middle school? Because I'm starting new school, a new grade, and going to make more friends. I will always miss Fort Washington teachers, all the activities, and field trips. I'm going to miss for us so much, but I'm excited to go to middle school and learn more. I had the best memories here, and I'll never forget them. Droogies, my little nuggets that I've taught and trained so well. I know you're going to do great in middle school. Um, I'm totally confident in each and every one of you. I know that you will shine. Dulcie, Andy, Alex, Sammy, KK, Ava, Haley, Kaya, Nathan, Gracie, Connor, Ella, Emily, and Mariah. You will all set the world on fire over there. Come back and tell me all about it, please. Have a great summer. Fifth graders, hi, it's Mr. Green here. This is a real melancholy moment for me. This has been probably my favorite fifth grade class in years. You are all absolutely tremendous. You're on the Mount Rushmore fifth grade classes. You're all so kind, so sweet, so smart. Week in and week out, there wasn't one fifth grade class I couldn't wait to teach in phys ed or health. I just wanna wish you all the best of luck moving forward. I am convinced you all will succeed and go far in this world. Please remember my door will always be open. 
please visit. I always look forward to the alumni coming back. Again, best of luck. Have a wonderful summer and I'll miss you. Take care. Congratulations to the Fort Washington Patriot Class of 2020. This is Mrs. Heiss. Do you realize I've known most of you since you were in kindergarten? That's six years and that's a long time. I watched you grow each year and get smarter each year. It's been a pleasure to get to know each and every one of you. Take good care of yourself. Take good care of your family. Have a wonderful summer. And again, congratulations. Hi there, Fort Washington class of 2020. I just want to give you my best wishes and wish you all the luck as you move on to Sandy Run. Remember, Fort Washington will be your home forever. Hi, fifth graders. Congratulations on your promotion to Sandy Run. I really miss seeing you guys. A special shout out to my fifth graders. I wish you guys all the best of luck next year at Sandy Run. I know that you'll do great things. I miss you. Good luck. Bye. Good morning and congratulations, 5D. And to all the other fifth graders, congratulations. This is a big day. I'm very proud of each and every one of you. Welcome to your families. Welcome to Mr. Mack and the Fort Washington staff. Each year I'm proud and honored to have a chance to give this promotion talk. One thing I recognize is I'm only the last stop on your journey through Fort Washington. So when you hear my words today and feel my love, I hope you will also hear the voices and feel the love of all the Fort Washington staff. Now 5D, we talked about many themes this year, but one of our themes was life's not fair. It was a theme in our stories, and it was a theme sometimes in our own personal lives. Never did I think that we would experience it with such swiftness and on such a grand scale. But we talked about other things during class too. Perseverance, hard work, and helping others. And I think each one of the, you showed each one of those traits. And I'm so proud of each and every one of you for all the hard work that you did during this unusual and unprecedented time. We stayed together as a class and we stayed together as a team. And I will never forget our quarantine class of 2020. Liam, I will miss your enthusiasm and your smile. Keep working hard and bringing joy to others. Jacob, I'll miss your artwork. I hope I'll get a chance to see some in the future. Keep bringing that to the world. We need it. Mike B, I'll miss watching you play recess basketball. Stay the nice, enthusiastic kid that you are and good luck next year in Sandy Rock. David, I'll miss your humor and your friendly nature. Keep working hard and keep challenging yourself and be good to your mom and to your sister. Bailey, I was just so impressed with how hard you work. It's a trait that's really going to help you in the future, but what I'll miss most is just your friendly nature and our chance to sit and work together on a daily basis. Elijah, I'm glad that you were able to come to our Google Meets. Um, you were only with us for three days, but I and the rest of the class will always consider you part of 5D. Good luck next year. Sam, you always kept me on my toes with your interesting questions and, and unique thoughts. Keep being curious and keep up your love of reading. Ellie, I'll miss our conversations. I appreciate your willingness to work with me. Keep working hard. You'll do great in the future. Hey, Ellie, I'm going to miss giving you a big hello in the morning, probably just a little bit before you were ready for a big hello. Your smile brightened my day and I know it'll brighten others in the future. Carter, I really loved your zest for reading. Thanks for always working with me and sharing your ideas. Jim, stay the nice, friendly kid that you are. I was so proud of everything you accomplished this year. Keep up with the reading, way to go. Nathan, I'll miss your quiet and caring nature and I'll miss your thoughtful and unique ideas. Good luck next year. Ben, I was really impressed with how you pushed yourself. You always set high goals and then work hard to achieve them. I think that's really gonna serve you well in the future. Continue to do that. Maddox, I always enjoyed our math discussions and I really enjoyed you explaining Japanese gaming culture to me. Thank you. 
Michael P, thanks for a great year, Mike. I think you and I were a good fit. You're always a straight shooter with me, and I really enjoyed every moment with you. Have a great year next year. Natalie, I'll miss your hard work, your um, unique art, and of course, your great smile. Sophie, I'll miss your smile as well and your energy. You seem to have this boundless energy. And I have to tell you, I really loved reading your poems. Keep at it. I think you have a special talent for that. Ella, you worked hard th with me this year. I really appreciated all the time you put in with me and keep working hard going forward. Sophia, I'll miss your hearty laugh and your big smile. Keep bringing that to the world. Emily, you constantly impressed me with the quality and creativity of your work. Keep working hard. You have an extremely bright future ahead. And Aaron, you really stepped up and met my high expectations. I really liked how you challenged yourself in many areas. Keep doing that. It'll serve you well in the future. So congratulations again, 5D. I'll never forget our quarantine class of 2020. Be kind to yourself and others. All good comes from that. And you know what I'm gonna say for one last time. This is Mr. Roser, signing off. Hi, fifth grade. This year, we all know we will be leaving this wonderful school. I've been here since I was five. For about six years, I've watched fifth graders go up and graduate, but I never thought about how that would be me one day, nor did I think it would be through a screen. Over my years at West, I've made many friends and lost a few but friends will always be there for all of us. And I know even if someone doesn't know me, we are all still going th through this together. I will dearly miss all my teachers and remember the fun times I've had with them, from stage cafe, to the parties, to town meetings. I will miss all of it, and I know my classmates will too. Fort Washington will always be in my heart no matter what school I'm in, and I bet when all of us are in college, we will look back and remember all the fun we had, just like our school song says. I will miss a lot of things about this school, even though sometimes I wake up and think, I don't want to go to school today. I still have fun every day, even if I had to throw myself out of bed. I've become such a better reader, writer, and so many other things because of this school. I'll miss the staff here, the events like the dance, the photo booth, and field day. I will even miss walking down to my teacher's room and getting in the lunch line. I am sure my classmates have their own memories like this that they will keep in their hearts. I am sad that our year was cut short, but we are still staying strong and making sure everyone is happy. Thank you and I hope to see you all next year.